Okay, but just a quick demo of the step sequencer. Um, nothing fancy. I just want to build a quick pattern and and hopefully this will be helpful to some of you. Helpful to some of you, excuse me. So I just have the drum set here. Musical typing, drums, dialogue. You are currently going on. One of okay, so. To um, select this option. So to pull up the step sequencer, we're going to type E. Before that, I just want to prove or, or check myself. To select this option. There's no region here. Logic Pro X. Command not available because there are no events selected. Yeah, there's no region on this track. So I'm going to hit E. Show high editor on. Piano roll group. And piano roll. No, we don't want the piano roll. Smart tempo. Rip step sequencer. Radio button. Three and four. Step sequencer. Step sequencer. Radio button. Step sequencer. Group. Okay. Step sequencer. Group. Step sequencer. Toolbar. All right, and we're going to go into the step sequencer toolbar. In step sequencer. And we're going to find um, to show the local inspector. So it's along here. Functions. Men view. Menu button. Show slash hide pattern browser. Unchecked. Show slash hide local inspector. Unchecked. Checkbox. Okay, I'm going to check that. Show slash hide local. Step sequencer group. Okay, now it took me straight to the step sequencer group. So I'm going to... Uh, step sequencer toolbar. Step sequencer. That's right next to the toolbar. So I'm going to go in, inside the group. In step sequencer group. 23 items. Pattern. Selected. Radio button. One of three. Okay, so right now we are... It's, it's, this is the inspector. Okay. Um, and so we have three different inspectors. We have the pattern inspector. Row. Radio button. Row. Two of three. Step. Radio button. Step. Three of three. Okay, so it goes from large scale to the even to the individual step okay um so we're gonna hit step right step radio button press step selected radio button three okay. and three now um step on slash off step right next to this view right step on slash off and one more time contact. step on slash off checkbox turn okay. the step on right. very important okay um step step on slash off checkbox turn the step that's gonna let you know as you navigate your rows and steps whether your step is activated or not okay um, so we're going to come back to that. Let's go all the way to the bottom of this uh, uh, section. Scroll area. To the scroll area. I just, I just hit VO end. Okay. So I'm going to interact with the scroll area. In scroll area. Eight items. Button. Pop-up button. Slash 16. Playback mode. Pop-up button. And we have various options here. Button. Empty. Scroll area. 16 steps. Pop-up button. And it lets Pattern you choose how many, how many steps, right? Um, but I believe this really menu. applies more to the row than the actual step. But anyway. Scroll area. Here's this Work. scroll area. And the, I believe this is where the actual... In scroll area, 132 items. Hit rows and steps are where the actual drum machine... This reminds me a lot of a drum machine, which is probably what it is, but anyway. Step on slash off. Dimmed. Here we go. Button. Row mute. Uncheck. Buttons. Hit one. So I'm just going to start using my arrow keys from here. Logic. Pro X. Come As I hit up and down arrow, it goes through Not each uh, drum. Okay. The selected step. And the left and right arrows are going to take you take you through each step. So the drums are on a Y, uh, um, you know, on the Y axis, I guess you call it, along from top to bottom. And then each step of the 16 steps by default is along the X, right, along the, from side to side. So as I Logic hit the right X. arrow. Command not available because the selected step is already located at the edge. Okay, so voiceover just let me know that I'm at the leftmost step on the kick row. Right. So as I hit the right arrow, all we're hearing is the kick over and over again because these are each steps. Okay. So just a quick breakdown. Logic Pro X. Command not available because the, uh, the way this works, for those who don't know, by default it's set, it's set to 16 steps and each step represents a 16th note. Okay, therefore um, 16 16th notes will give you four beats, right? So a measure, a bar in 4-4 four, four time. Right, so every time you activate a step, it's gonna play that drum or whatever you're using uh, for that moment in the in the pattern. Okay, so we're gonna um, get out of here and stop interacting. Out of scroll area. Sixteen steps. Pop up button. Okay, and button. Pop up button. Slash sixteen. Pop up. Out of scroll area. Tie step check. Pattern. Radio button. I'm back in where the main inspector is. Row, step, select. You know, back where you choose pattern, row, and step. And I'm going to go back to the step on slash box. off. Step on slash off checkbox. Turn the step on okay. row. And what it, what's important about this is that it's going to let you know whether your step is activated. Okay. Because it's going to automatically um, update on the status of this checkbox as you move through steps and rows. Okay. So I'm going to just do a simple pattern. It's going to go boom, clap, boom, boom, clap, boom, boom, clap. Okay. And let's see how it goes. So. 
I just hit the left that. arrow a few times just to make sure I'm at the beginning of the pattern. And then the shortcut key to activate the step is the apostrophe key. In other words, the key to the left of um, return, right? And so I'm going to hit it. Check step on slash off checkbox. Turn okay. the step on or off. So I just checkbox. activated the step on the first, on the kick, okay? And I want it to go one, three, and the and the four. So let's go to B3. So I'm going to hit the right arrow until I get to B3. So right now I'm going to beat one. So I'm going to subdivide. E and, uh, step on slash off checkbox. E Turn the step on or off. Checkbox. Okay. Now if you notice, voice over already let me know that none of these steps are activated. So, um, I'm sorry. Let me do it again because I lost track of what I was. Check step logic pro X. Okay. So I'm at one. E on and step uh, on slash off two. E and Turn uh, the step on three. Off. That's what checkbox. I want. Check step on slash off checkbox. Turn the step on or off. Checkbox. And then I want the and, excuse me, the uh, or the last 16th note of B3, so E and Uncheck, step uh, on slash off checkbox. Tur check, step on slash off checkbox. And Turn then the step on or off. Checkbox. The and of beat four. One, Uncheck, step eight. on slash off checkbox. Turn, check, step on slash off checkbox. Turn okay. the step on or off. Now, checkbox. what logic does once you start hitting steps and there, there's no region in the, in the, um, in the tracks area, it's going to create a pattern region. Okay, so if I hit uh, Control Home, Control End, five bars, one beat, one, one bar, one beat, one division, one tick. It's letting me know that there's a region now, a pattern region on bar beat one, bar one, and it ends on, on bar off, five, so off, a four bar region. Five bars, one, one bar, one beat, one division. Okay, so given that the pattern itself is only a bar, it's gonna loop back for um four times. Okay, so let's hear what we got. One bar, one beat, one. Five bars, two okay. beats, two division, one bar, one. Now let's add a snare. So I'm gonna go back to the to the first step. Uncheck step, uncheck check step on slash logic pro. Okay. Now go down to the snare. Uncheck step on slash off check box. Turn so the step on or off. Check two box. and four. Okay. Two. Check step on slash off check box. Uncheck step on slash off check box. Three. Turn the step on or off. Check box. Check step on slash off check box. Turn the step on or off. Check box. Uh, and let's go back. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the beginning of the pattern. Uncheck step on slash off. Uncheck step on slash off. Okay, let's hear it. One bar one. Three okay. bars, two beats, one, one bar right. one. So let's go ahead and add um see what else we can add. I like that. So I'm gonna put that on the end of one. Boom Okay. So logic pro that's not um, available. Right, I roll two times. And and Apostrophe. Check step on slash off checkbox. Nice here. One bar one beat one division. Three bars awesome. one beat two. One bar one beat one. And finally, let's add the hi hat. That's what I want. Okay. So I'm gonna put this on. This logic on eighth command notes. not available because this. Okay. So it's gonna be pretty much every other step. So apostrophe. Check step on slash off checkbox. Uncheck step on slash off checkbox. Turn the step on or off. Check step on slash off checkbox. Turn the step on or off. Checkbox. Uncheck step on slash off check check step on slash uncheck step on slash off check box turn this check step on slash uncheck step on slash off check step on slash uncheck step on slash off check box check step on slash off check uncheck step on slash off check check step on slash off check uncheck step on slash off check step on slash off check box turn the step on or off one bar one beat one division one take five bars one beat one division two hundred thirty ticks and so I just want to show you one more thing uncheck check uncheck Check step on logic pro X command not a uncheck check step on I'm at the first step on the I had and uh this has a built-in note repeater in the in the step sequencer so I'm gonna just uh VO right here. Note F music sharp sign one velocity one hundred gate one percent note repeat one segment. So just do a, I don't know five or six notes here. In eleven one not eleven two five six five five let's just see how five out of slider just for the note repeat. sake of it one bar one B. here you go. Four bars, four beats, four divisions, awesome. eighty-four. And so, guys, I just want to show you one more thing to to uh, create another pattern region. Uh, if you want to do another pattern later on in whatever you're working on, so I would navigate to one bar one beat. As we know that five one bar one beat. Our, our first pattern region is from bar one to bar five. And so, I'm gonna to navigate to bar five. Two, three, four, five bars, one. And go to the tracks toolbar. Step sequence tracks group. 
Control track in track tracks group tracks group in tracks out tracks toolbar. You are currently on a toolbar in tracks edit menu. Ma Sorry about that. Leave folder edit menu button functions menu. You went over the functions menu create MIDI region create pattern region and create you are pattern on menu region. Item. Okay. Create pattern region. You are currently on a group. Nine bars, one beat, one division. And now we have five bars. Hitting control, home control, and we have another pattern. Nine bars, one, five bars, one beat, one division. Region, and so we can repeat the steps from the beginning uh, to create that region. Okay, so hope this helps.